Hey. I have with me an iPad, an iPad with stuff on it. This stuff is things that I want to talk to you about. Wow! So welcome to episode one in a new series that I'm calling What is going on in the world of technology from the perspective of somebody who works in the field and has a lot of opinions on it and can actually talk through some of this stuff and it's not always going to be bad, I promise. W working title. What is up? Microsoft is laying off 10,000 employees. That's not a ton in terms of percentage, but it's still 10,000 human beings. The cuts are gonna start soon and they're gonna go on throughout the year. And what's kind of shitty about all this is that also they just changed to unlimited PTO, which means that they don't have PTO balances that they have to pay out anymore. Disclaimer, this next thought is not my own, but it's from someone that I care deeply about and respect. They said, it's pretty amazing that in one generation, we've gone from this company's great, they've got a pension, to this company is great, they pay out remaining PTO balances when you get laid off. Moving on, Amazon has decided that they don't care anymore and they're getting rid of Amazon Smile, which was a program they had that you could set up Amazon to donate to a charity whenever you purchase something. This was always kind of dumb in my opinion, except for the fact that they should be giving money to the charities, that's good but you had to specifically go to smile.amazon.com in order for the donation to go through. Like, they were just banking on people not being aware that this feature existed in order to not just give more donations. So like, yeah, like Amazon wants to try to cut costs or whatever. Never mind if they have the most money ever, but like, that's besides the point, I guess. Can't be having those pores be receiving your money. This next one, I don't, I don't actually, I don't, I don't actually know, but this is cool. Uh, so some like Japanese, yeah, Japanese company has this like prototype of a device that you can just plug in and at home throw plastic into, and it will produce oil. I'll put up a picture on the screen. It, it, look, it looks like a washing machine, but like. Yo? It is a pretty open secret at this point that recycling, at least in America, is like busted. Like really, really busted. So this is cool. I would love to see more of that. Who knows if it, if it actually works, but like neat. Instagram has added a quiet mode to help not be addicted to the app, I guess, or something. It's essentially a do not disturb mode, but for Instagram. And you can turn it on and it says like, this person's in quiet mode, don't bother them. It also silences notifications, but like if you have social media notifications turned on, why? At the very least, look in to see if your phone's operating system has a like hold notifications until later option. You can just get a digest of everything that's happened at given points throughout the day. And you can make that happen as often as you want. If you're going to have notifications, make it be on your schedule. Last thing on my docket for today, Elon Musk is starting a new trial, another one. So back in 2018, he did some minor securities fraud, allegedly. Uh, in which he tweeted that he got funding secured to take Tesla private. And of course it was at $420 a share because haha, <laughs> funny weed number. Anyway, a bunch of investors were like, what the hell? And did a bunch of market stuff. I mean, it's all, who cares? But they lost a ton of money because the man did a tweet and that's not okay for people. And so now there's a class action lawsuit in which they're saying, hey, why can he manipulate markets via tweet? Which is a very, very good question. Anyway, that's the end of my links for today. Thank you for hanging out. All the stuff I talked about will be linked in the description below. Don't forget to drop a like. I really appreciate that. If you have any replies to any of this, let's talk about it in the comments. Take care and be well.